everybody, it's me again, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick YouTube video on how to make a cut or a hole in a mesh. So, let's get right to it. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to cut a hole in this cube uh, using any sort of shape that we want. This is really useful when you're making actually anything. Um, and so let's get right to it and make this a short tutorial. And let's start. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take whatever shape you want to cut into the object and say let's take a cube for this um, this try first thing we're going to do say I want to cut a circle into this square I'm going to press circle over here like I just did I'm going to zoom right in oh it's inside the square that's not good let's sky that was too big um, let's delete that make a new one I'm going to press RX and then I'm going to go 180, we can rotate that 180 degrees then I'm going to press GX, take that out of here oops, it's rotated in the wrong direction I'm going to go RY, which is rotate with the Y axis, I'm going to go 90 so now we have this circle in front of this square so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be cutting this hole into this square and it's we're going to size that down a bit, there we go and now the thing is you're going to view it from whatever angle you want to cut it from. If I want it here, then it'll cut here. If I view it from here, it'll only cut this corner. Uh, so next we're what we're going to do, we're going to select the cube. I mean, oops, sorry about that. We're going to select the circle. We're going to press shift. Ta, I said pressed. I said pressed. We're going to press the circle. Then we're going to press the square so that we have both selected. And by doing that, you use shift and then you select different objects. So I hope you're following me until now. And now we're going to work, what we're going to do is we're going to go tab to edit. And so what we're actually doing is we're actually editing the square instead of the circle. If you do it the other way around and you go click the square and then click the circle, then we'll be editing the circle. So make sure you do it in that order. Let me go back there. So, let's cut this hole. Um, just for just to make it look better, I'm gonna go from the exact side that oops, not the back, maybe the right. Oh, didn't get that either. Okay, maybe the left. There we go. So I'm gonna cut. Ex I'm gonna cut. Oops, there. I'm gonna go face. Select this face right here. Um, let me go to that. Select this face. And then now, you, as you can see, this is exactly where it's gonna cut. And so I'm gonna go to tools up here. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna go to tools. I'm gonna scroll down a bit, and I'm gonna go to knife project. That is the whole idea of this cut. Um, it's the simplest method of doing this, of doing this cut. It's really awesome when you just wanna. You have this really special shape in mind, say for a car or, or a weapon or some sort, right? And you wanna make a really awesome cut that is an awesome shape. Then we're gonna go knife project and boom as you can see we have this little area here that's underneath the circle there we go now I can select right through it since this was a square oh yeah and it makes these cool um sort of cuts too now if we go back out of tab as you can see we have a square with a hole in it that was a quick tutorial um, as you and as you know, you can. Well, actually, you don't know. Never mind what I say. That uh, you can do this with all sorts of different shapes. You can create little curves here and there, but make sure that this that the um, that the curve or whatever object is is closed. Okay, I don't have these hanging out like here and then one over here, and you know what I mean. Make sure it's a closed object or a closed uh, shape. Shape, I should say. I should say. Make sure it's a closed shape, and then project it right on there. Quick tutorial for you guys. See ya.